Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is AW Pixotica bringing you yet another amazing video for today. I'm really sorry to you guys that I've stayed away for quite a long time now. It's been like 15 to 20 days since I've posted the last video on YouTube. And what was happening is that I was actually a little busy in traveling and exploring the desert side of uh, Cholestan, the wildlife. And I did a little hunting as well. So I was a little busy over there, but now I'm back. Now I'll show you guys I'm gonna keep on continuing to come up with good videos for you guys to see, watch and enjoy. Today's video is uh, about a drone that I purchased. Uh, here it is, the DJI Mini 2. So today's video is about the DJI Mini 2, its basics, just the basics, just to touch upon what the drone is, what it offers, what the company is claiming it offers, what are the various functions, touch upon the quick settings that this drone has. So this video is about any new uh, drone owners or people who've purchased drones for the purchase your first drone watch this video uh, also if you guys are new to the channel do leave a like do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff coming up on this channel let's get you straight into the video <laughs> Alright, let's first talk about what comes in the box. When you open the box, I uh, basically purchase the Fly More Combo. You uh, get the drone and you get the controller, which is pretty much changed in design and looks from the previous uh, DJI Mavic Mini drones. Uh, you get a charging hub for charging your batteries and three batteries inside the hub. You get a charging brick, uh, which is used to charge the batteries on the drone. You get three extra pairs of propellers. If you somehow need to replace the propellers on your drones, these are the ones to go with it. You get two extra joysticks that come with it in your case. In case you lose the already existing ones on the remote, you get these, you know nice bit of cables to get the connections done uh, with your phone. These uh, can be attached with the remote over here. You also get a screwdriver here, you get a charging cable as well. So this is uh, pretty much it which what you get inside uh, the package if you purchase the Flymore combo. So let's talk about in detail what each component has to offer that DJI has made for us. All right, first up, talking about uh, the remote controller that comes with the DJI Mini 2. Uh, this remote controller has been changed and uh, is definitely better looking than the previous remote controller on the uh, DJI Mavic Mini. It's bigger, it's larger, it's, and the reason behind it, it's housing a better and a bigger battery. And it's also housing the new OcuSync 2 technology for transmission which allows the drone to have a more uh, range have more range have more distance it can reach up to 10,000 meters is what the company is claiming all right uh, talking about the remote the front of the remote pretty standard joysticks come right over here there's a function button uh, right here uh, a return to home and a pause button the power button the light indicators for showing you how much juice the remote has left and a nice little toggle switch right here to switch between uh, scene normal and sports mode a nice button over here so once you move to the bottom of the remote uh, there's a place to you know stick your joysticks in a USB type C port for charging the remote coming over to the top of the remote uh, you get pretty standard a record button for videos and f shooting button for photos the gimbal control dial right over here and the standard antenna for uh, basic connection to the drone and it's also a place where you can you know place your phone inside and connect the cable that is provided with the remote right over here it's not coming out here's the cable now this with this you can you know connect your phone to uh, the remote controller and then use the DJI fly app to, to take your first flight so this was pretty much it for the controller right over here talking about the drone right in my hand uh, the design is pretty identical to the previous uh, model which was known as the DJI uh, Mavic Mini. Uh, its design is pretty similar with uh, not a lot of, uh, you know, 
new things going on over here. However, they have given this nice uh, propeller guard to protect the propellers from any damage. Just open it by clicking it on the side and this is a propeller guard that gets provided. So uh, the propellers are now, the tip of the propellers are now colored orange as you can see over here. The previous model they were colored gray. I have been told the DJI has put in new uh, and more powerful motors for this drone and which allows it to you know withstand the high winds right uh, at the front you've got the same uh, propeller guard right over here uh, nothing no sensors of any sort on the front the bottom propellers are right here the power button and the uh, you know battery uh, indicating flashlights two small sensors for landing a rear tail light, a battery, a place where you can stick your battery inside, a memory card slot, and a USB Type C charging port through which you can charge the battery on this drone directly using a USB Type C cable. The battery bank comes with three batteries installed. It's an intelligent battery charging system. Uh, pretty much nothing on the bottom and the back and the sides. But here you get, but here you get the power button. Now this uh, particular battery hub can be used as a power bank to charge any of the accessories you want. Any of the accessories you want to be charged. This is the USB Type C port, which uses the USB Type C cable provided with the drone to charge these three batteries at one time. And this is the out. Uh, from which you can use this particular brick as a power bank. Uh, you can charge other stuff as well. Press it once, it's going to tell you the indication. It's going to give you the indication of how much juice uh, the batteries are left with. Uh, if you plug in the USB Type C over here, it's going to charge the battery that has been most used or the least charged battery. So it's going to prioritize by charging the weakest first and then shift towards the other batteries. The charging brick provided with it is pretty uh, much standard. There's a DJI branding going on over here and the USB Type-C connector right here for you to attach your cable with and charge the DJI drone. Talking about the build quality that the company is offering on the DJI Mini 2, the build quality is pretty sturdy. It's made up of a nice hard plastic, but it's all plastic. There's no, there are no aluminum or metal surfaces to play with. Talking about the weight on this thing, this is 249 grams, which pretty much allows you to dodge that FAA regulation of registering the drone through a regulatory authority. However, the remote control on this thing has been, uh, you know, increased in size and weight. That is particularly because of the new AUKUSync 2 technology, wireless transmission technology that DJI has introduced with the DJI Mini 2. That is particularly why this uh, drone has a larger size and more weight to it. However, that doesn't pretty much increase the size of the overall package. If you see this in comparison to the size of my hand, it's pretty tiny. So you can tuck it inside your pocket, move it around place it anyway it's pretty handy to carry around next I'm going to tell you about battery life that uh, the company offers on the DJI Mini 2 well the company is claiming the battery life to last anywhere between 30 to 31 minutes which is one minute extra than the battery that was being used with the DJI Mavic Mini 31 minutes of juice on any battery is good enough for any drone photo drone videographer or photographer who is trying to capture a moment however if you are dicey in terms of time you can always purchase the fly more combo which comes with three batteries allowing you you a battery time of more than one hour and 20 minutes depending on the use depending on how you're using the batteries now another good thing that uh, DJI has introduced is uh, the USB type C charging system you can you know pretty much charge the batteries through this hub using the USB type C cable provided or on the drone uh, through the USB connector provided right over here. Well, this is that's pretty much handy. They have done away with USB uh, 3.0, I guess, the connecting system. Talking about the cost of this drone, is it's around it's around 599 US dollars for the combo package, which is trust me not at all very heavy on your pocket if you're a beginner. Uh, you know drone newbie you should go for this drone because it's not at all uh, I won't say that this this thing is out of your budget because you know it's a lot of things the DJ is offering in 599 US dollars well if you want to you know get into the drone game it's it is expensive so <laughs> I personally bought this because of the budget constraints that I had and I'm pretty happy with the purchase 599 US dollars guys when the DJI uh, Mavic mini was launched it was offering uh, 60 frames in 1080p and 
and uh, 30 frames in 2.7K. That was, you know, a deal breaker for that drone. However, DJI has introduced uh, 4K 30 frames per second in the DJI Mini 2. They have also added the capability or the ability in this camera sensor right here to capture raw images which is amazing this can you know now shoot 4k 30 frames per second capture raw images and also shoot at 2.7k and 60 frames at 1080p pretty amazing pretty amazing also the sensor on this thing is uh, 1 by 2.3 inches however when it comes to shooting in low light condition it performs a little uh, you know towards the lower end because of the size of the tiny sensor if if you compare it to the sensor which is available on the Mavic Air 2 which is 48 megapixels in the larger sensor. Right, talking about safety features in the drone, it does not have any additional added extra sensors or obstacle avoidance system so you are advised to fly cautiously whenever flying this drone because it's it doesn't have any of those sensors so if you're moving at a high speed, flying at a high speed and there's a tree, it's not going to avoid that. It's straight going to bump inside that tree and you're going to lose around 600 US dollars. However, the DJ, uh, the company has given two sensors at the bottom which allow it to detect ground while landing. That's pretty much it. So I would advise uh, new flyers if they can purchase propeller guards for this drone which are available in the open market to add a little extra safety and security to the flight of their drone. Another wonderful thing that DJI has done with this drone is that they have added more powerful motors for it to fly in high wind conditions or high speed wind conditions. So that's a nice addition. The previous Mavic Mini could not withstand a lot of wind. However, this can but do not try to compare it with the bigger drones because they have bulkier motors with more power to match the wind speeds out there. So this can fly in medium to normal to high wind uh, conditions depending on the wind speed. Right, coming over to the conclusion of my video, is this drone the best drone for beginners out there? Well, you guys tell me. A 10 kilometer range, 31 minutes of flight time, 4K 30 frames per second, 2.7K shooting, uh, 1080p 60 frames per second, AUKUSYNC 2.0 technology which gives it an added extra range, a bigger bulkier remote controller, 249 grams on the weight which allows you to you know move under the FAA regulations, a wonderful camera, pretty handy to carry, small in size, light in weight, compact and what not. It's got a number of added quick shot features and uh, video creation features inside it. It has a user friendly app, the DJI Fly app. It's very comfortable to use. I mean, what, what else do you guys want? What else does a drone flyer want, a beginner drone flyer want? It, this is an all-in-one package. Go for it. Simply go for it. Very nice and a very beautifully designed, well-conceived design and a package for beginner drone flyers. That was pretty much it from my side. Uh, I'll be coming up inshallah with a lot of uh, new videos for you guys to see. Sorry for the delay. It was because of the traveling that I was doing, moving around here and there. This is AWP Exotica signing off for now. See you in another video really, really soon. I'm going to fly this baby and show you how it's done. Bye-bye. <coughs>